Once upon a time, there was a little boy who had a ukulele. And he would wander around his town, and he would play his ukulele really, 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 really loud. And the people all around the town would say, Get that darn ukulele out of here! We're trying to speak! Get out! And so he would wander around the town, and he would continue to play really, really, really loud. Mm -hmm. The boy had a father, and his father was a magician, and he liked to play lots of tricks on people. He would walk up to someone who was about to take a drink, something to drink, and he would go, zoop, and the glass would disappear. Or someone would be sawing wood after a long day, saw, 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 and zoop, the saw would disappear. Or after someone was at a hard day of work and they were just ready to sit down and relax, zoop, the chair would disappear. And this made a lot of people in the town really, really angry. And they said, you and your boy and your magic wand and your practical jokes, get out of here. We don't want you. And then the boy and his father were ostracized, which meant that they weren't allowed back in the town. And if they did get back, no one would talk to them. Everyone annoyed them. And no matter how loud the boy played his ukulele, no one would listen to him. And the people in this town like to tell a story about a giant named Abby yo, -Yo. Abiyoyo hadn't come around for millions of years, but they always told these stories about how he would come up and eat sheep and cows and even people in just one whole bite. And one day, the sun rose blood red over the town, and the people saw a gigantic figure coming out over the mountains and down towards the town. And women screamed and then fainted and they screamed, Run for your lives! Abiyoyo is coming! And the boy woke up and looked out the window and saw the sun rising blood red and the figure that was right in front of it. And he said, Pa, Pa, what's going on? And the boy's father said, That's Abby yo -Yo's coming. If only I could get him to lie down and then I could go zoop and make him disappear. And so the boy and his father got up, went back into the town and started heading towards the mountains. And the people said, What are you doing? You're going to get killed. father walked up to Abby yo, yo and they stopped right in front of him, about the distance that I am from Claire. And they looked up. Abby yo, yo had disgusting yellow teeth, because he didn't brush them, and long yellow fingernails, because he never cut them, and he smelled disgusting, because he never washed himself. And the boy pulled out his ukulele, and he began to sing. Sing. Ah, yo, 